I never said that it's a waste of time. Uh, I would probably misquote it. What I said was that we investors should be more analytical when we read news or stories from the financial media. When we get sick, uh, we will go to see a doctor with good qualifications. If the doctor tells you that he receives most of his continued education uh, from reading USA Today or New York Times, we would probably be worried. And rightly, we should expect the doctor to spend more time reading New England Journal of Medicine, for example. When it comes to making financial decisions, such as buying stocks and bonds, isn't it weird that we refer to financial journalists who write articles on WSJ, FT, or CNBC? Shouldn't we rely more on the advice from those who read or write on Journal of Finance or Journal of Portfolio Management? The reality is the financial media is a critical part of the giant financial industry, and there's a huge vested interest in the financial media to produce dramatic, best-selling stories, which are not necessarily true. According to Newsweek financial columnist Jane Quinn, she labeled this style of journalism as financial pornography, which is highly alluring but utterly lacking in redeeming value. In 1999, an anonymous financial columnist wrote an article called Confession of a Former Mutual Fund Journalist in which he wrote that by day we write six funds to buy today and by night we invest in sensible index funds. Another problem with the financial media is that journalists are always trying to offer explanations to what's happening on the market almost on a day-to-day -day basis. Otherwise, the story would not sell. Unfortunately, such reports are churned out in a very short span of time, and therefore, there's a huge shortage of detailed analysis. And because of that, a lot of such explanations offered are utterly rubbish. For example, a team of professors in Harvard University, including Larry Summers, used to do a study to analyze the 50 biggest movements of U.S. stock in history, and they tabulated the explanations offered by financial media to explain such stock market movements. And some of the explanations offered were laughable, such as Eisenhower urges the economic confidence, a further reaction to the Truman victory over Duell, or replacement buying after earlier fall. Replacement buying after earlier fall. Well, just to be clear, um, I'm not here suggesting us not to read financial newspapers. What I'm saying is that uh, we should be more analytical and take a truly evidentialist approach uh, when we read news or stories or reports from the media. And this is particularly important if we want to take some of the advice from them in helping us make significant financial decisions.